Once a mid-size sedan, the modern Ford Taurus now competes in the full-size category. So compared to heavyweights like the Toyota Avalon, Chevy Impala, and Chrysler 300, how does the Taurus stack up? It might not be obvious in pictures, but the Taurus is really tall, measuring a nearly crossover-worthy 60.7 inches. It may be a mere 6 inches shorter than a Ford Escape, but the Taurus's tall roof does not ensure mind-blowing interior dimensions. In fact, its interior volume is among the smallest in the full-size sedan category. That's the negative. On the positive side, the tall roof allows for higher seat placement, enabling improved views of the road ahead, while also making it easy to slide in and out of the vehicle. Youngsters might not care about easy ingress, but anyone charged with picking up grandma at the airport sure will. On the drive home, feel free to dazzle grandma with the Taurus's extensive feature list. Supplementing standard equipment like a power driver's seat, six airbags, and a six-speaker audio system with auxiliary input are a wealth of cool options. Things like lane departure warning, a very capable adaptive cruise control system, and a forward collision warning system that, at least in our experience, activated a bit too frequently. Call this crazy, but it seems like unnecessary noise and flashing would reduce safety, not improve it. Another of the Taurus's high-tech options is sync with My Ford Touch. This infotainment suite includes a touchscreen and steering wheel mounted pads that control various functions shown in the gauge cluster. There's a lot to like, especially the gauge cluster components, but the touchscreen did freeze on us. And on more than one occasion, the system inexplicably lost our phone's Bluetooth audio stream. Those of you easily annoyed by obstinate technology, take warning. Countering that negativity are some really great options including heated and cooled front seats, heated rear seats, a heated steering wheel, automatic high beams, Ford's brilliant active park feature, which we really, really love, and blind spot warning with cross traffic alert. Much like forward collision alert, cross traffic alert is inclined to throw false positives. But I suppose if it keeps you from backing into the path of just one inattentive 18 wheeler, then all the extra noise will be worth it. When not cautiously avoiding semis, the Taurus drives like a full size sedan ought to. The ride is smooth, steering is light, and road and wind noise are minimal. It's not a particularly thrilling or engaging ride, but we doubt the average tourist buyer will mind. Really, the biggest complaints from the driver's seat are the exceptionally wide side pillars, which, unsurprisingly, hinder visibility. Like the Chrysler 300, all-wheel drive is an option on Ford Taurus models equipped with the base 3.5-liter V6. With 288 horsepower and decent fuel economy, the base V6 is a fine choice. Toss in an extra grand and you can upgrade to a 2-liter EcoBoost 4-cylinder. Spending that kind of cash for less horsepower may seem silly, but the small EcoBoost does boast superior torque and fuel economy numbers. Drivers who want a more traditional payoff for their investment can choose the 3.5-liter EcoBoost V6 that, like all Taurus models, comes paired with a 6-speed automatic transmission. Returning a still respectable 17 city and 25 highway, 3.5 liter whips up 365 horsepower with negligible turbo lag. Ford smartly pairs the big EcoBoost exclusively with all-wheel drive, helping keep the torque steer demons at bay. The 3.5 liter all-wheel drive powertrain may be an option on higher Taurus trims, but it's the lone choice for the range-topping SHO model. Along with strong acceleration and superior traction, the show sports a racier suspension, unique wheels, and more supportive seats, making it the tourist to choose for drivers who appreciate just a little fun before picking up grandma at the airport. I know we keep mentioning grandma in the airport a lot, but seriously, if that's on your itinerary, the tourist's vast 20 cubic foot trunk will really come in handy. Loaded up, the Taurus show tops $40,000, while a basic model checks in at a little more than $27,000, including destination. Though available for less than a Toyota Avalon or a Hyundai Azera, the Ford Taurus's lower than average long term resale values are a potential sore point for buyers. In our modern, technologically advanced age, it's easy to focus on features, but the Ford Taurus's appeal isn't defined by a bountiful option sheet. Its strengths are found in fundamentals a comfortable ride, a huge trunk, and an easily accessed cabin. For many full-size buyers, it's the simple stuff that matters. Of course, if those fundamentals come wrapped in an attractive, technologically advanced package, we won't complain.